where do I want to go from here? When you're when you're designing your boat, you want to have an idea of what you're going to use it for. Now I, I'm uh, report pretty much going to refer to aluminum boats here because number one, uh, not many people that can build their own fiberglass boat. And you can't use a fiberglass boat everywhere, but you can use an aluminum boat everywhere. Like I said, the first thing is you have to decide what you want want to do with the boat if you want to haul two people and fish out of it. Like I said, the perfect size for the boat is about 13 foot. You have to think about the width of the boat. Now, as I said, the bottom of the boat should be five foot. I think that's perfect size for these low horsepower power low horsepower power plants. The bottom of the transom should have an arc in it of about an inch, inch or inch and a half. This like I said in the beginning of the video makes the the bottom stronger and it also helps the boat track. Now this arc doesn't carry through the whole the whole way to the front of the boat. The, the arc ends about a third of the way up in the, in the boat and and then it flat it flattens out towards the front. This way, whenever you're on plane, the boat is running on that part, and it, it helps. It helps the the boat track, and it also helps make the boat run free. If you have your weight distributed right, have the right size engine on the right size prop, your hull built right. Your boat is going to run free. It's going to run right on top of the water. The next thing is you have to decide about your chines. There are three, basically three kinds of hauls. You have a hard chine boat. I guess I better put a little arc in there. My drone's not the best today. You have the hard chine boat, which is looks like this. It just has a squared off corner. Uh, and then you have the soft chine boat, which has a rounded corner. And then you have the chine boat, or the reverse chine, which has a little indentation. In each corner. This helps you turn a little bit better. Now if you put chimes on on your boat, the bottom of this boat between each chime could still be five foot. Because when you get up on plane, you're running on this part of the boat. You don't want you don't want this part of the boat to be in the water. You want to be running on the bottom of the boat that makes that makes the boat the fastest it can be. Okay, so that's chimes. That's pretty simple. I hope I'm getting all this. It seems like I'm blowing through this.
like I said, you have to decide on, on the length, and then you have to decide the weight that you're going to carry and the motor you want to run. And there we go again. And, that, and the prop you want to run. Now, this will determine the degree, the angle of your gunnels. If you need to use a wider prop, you need to lock them. You need to uh, move out the top of the gunnel, make, more, make it more of an angle to allow you more room up here to run a prop. My opinion is that the gunnel should be about 20 inches. 20 inches gives you a little bit of a, a side, so if you have small children in the boat or something, uh, you have enough depth to make it safe for them to be moving around the boat and not be uh, afraid of them falling in. And also, if you're going to be running some rough water, it's nice to have a higher gunnel. When you're on plane and running on the top of the water, you're only running on about a quarter of the boat. To, to achieve this, you might have to tilt your end and say your prop point points down at the water to bring it front down, or you may have to shim it. So, so it lifts the front to get it to run on this part of the boat. I guess I should have left that up there. Okay, as far as the bow of the boat, this arc is important. If you're going to have a deck on the front of it so you can fish off the front, this arc is important. If you if this arc is too long, what happens is all this boat is out of the water. And when you stand on here, it's go, it's go, it's going to push down on the front and lift up on the back. It's not going to be real stable. If you put a sharper arc on the front of the boat and you're standing up here, that part of the boat when you're floating is in the water and it's going to be a lot more stable and your boat's going to float a lot flatter also. the bottom of the boat. I use uh, an eighth, in, eighth inch aluminum. The shape of the bottom is really up to you. Some people just make it a square. I, I like to, uh, to bring the front in and have a narrower nose on like that. No reason really, other than I just think it looks better. Uh, another thing, if you narrow the nose, you're losing a little bit of weight. But if you narrow the nose, you're also losing a little bit of deck area. You're not, you're not losing that much, though. That would mean just a little bit. But there, my boot has plenty of, of room up front. I have my fishing seat up there. I have plenty of room to, to spin around and fish off the front. As far as the inside of the hull, some people use the, the T-bars for their, for their stringers inside the boat. That run up the that run up the front of the boat. 
goes on at the bottom of the boat. Yeah, these are stringers. Some people use the T-bars like this and weld them in. But I use what's called I use what's called structural channel. Now the difference between that is regular channel is squared off like this. Structural channel is a little bit different. It has this area filled in. It's a little bit stronger. I like this structural channel because it's just easier to walk on. This is easier to walk around if you're going to be walking around the bottom of the boat uh, than, this T, than, the, than the T channel, I think. You, I mean, you don't, you, you could twist an ankle or whatever. I think this is better for a ride boat. If you're building a fishing boat, though, or a boat that you're going to be getting, you move it around while you're out in the water, I definitely want to use the structural channel. That's about it for this part of the video. I'll put together some more information and get it up soon. Until next time, keep sliding.